first guitars. Um, I bought it when I was 17 years old in, in the, the Bylines Press. It was like the recycler. And it said Orange Guitar Gretsch, 100 bucks. And there it was. I wanted it to look like Eddie Cochran. I didn't, I didn't know if it sounded any good. I got 100 bucks together, which was a lot for, you know, 17 year old, you know, back in 19, where did I get this? Late 70s. Oh, I'm going to ask the guy, is it like Eddie Cochran's guitar? And what? Who? And this guitar was, he started to refinish it. So the wood was in one side and all the electronics were in a shoebox. No case. I got it for a hundred bucks. I took the guitar in one hand and the, the shoebox in the other hand and had the pickup set and everything. And I put it back together. It's a 59 Gretsch, Chet Atkins model, 6120. And I've owned it since I was 17 years old. It's come back and forth, it's been stolen, it's been left on taxi cabs, it's been lost on airplanes, it's been left places because everybody was drunk, <laughs> and it's made its way back to me every time. Here's a weird thing that only guitar players would care about. So, you see how thick that guitar is? That's the thickest one Gretsch made. And then in 1960, they came out with a little thinner. Right? They had features that crossed over. So they had a zero fret in there. They had a thinner body, and they had all that stuff for 1960. 59 had the thicker body, right? So this had a 1960 serial number, but it started, the features started to cross. So it still had the thick body, right? Um, and it, it really shouldn't because that body had gone away. And it, it still had that enamel face Bigsby. And it shouldn't, because this is supposed to be in 1960. So it kind of had the best of both worlds. It had the best of all the features that you like. And there's really not, none others that existed like that, unless you made, made it happen. This is just a one-off guitar that got stuck in the middle somewhere. The last guitar in 1959. It, it's very odd that it actually was made. So I, I don't know. I think, I, I think it sounds a little different because of the thicker body. Inside the guitar, they have something called trestle bracing. All right, so it looks like a trestle that you can't see inside the guitar. I'm thinking some guy's looking out the window at the Gretsch building, which is in Brooklyn, and he's looking at the Williamsburg Bridge. I know how to make it. Stop feeding back. I'm going to put a bridge inside it. We'll call it a bridge. He's looking at the Williamsburg Bridge. That's the way I would think if I worked there. And he put that inside. They had started to make them lighter and more resonant so the guitar would breathe better. In 1959, they were really heavy. This has the light one. It sounds better than the older ones because it breathes more. Like I said, this has the weird features from both years. And I think it's a one-off guitar. I think it has a lot to do with how it sounds. <laughs> 